Man, did y'all hear about the man? Because I'm not going to call him a woman. It's not a woman. I don't care what you say. I don't care if people say, oh, you know, they are transgender. No, the man that want to dress up like a woman that ran over the 65-year-old man in Texas that was walking to his mailbox. Did y'all hear about that? That is crazy, man. What is going on with people now? And and, uh, and the man that hit him was only 20 years old. What in the world is going on in y'all brain out here? You just went and hit a innocent man because from what I didn't got, they, it doesn't say like they had any kind of history. Like he knew him or anything from, from what I didn't heard so far. And you just hit this person? And kill him like it was like you playing a, a a a movie role or something like what's that movie Will Smith played in um where he was the a, a hero or something I can't even think about it but just just really come on bro man people taking life for granted like life is not precious I love life I love my life I love my life more than anybody in the world. <laughs> I don't know what nobody else think, but my freedom, my life, I love it. And I don't care what nobody say, man. Let's talk about this. You better go on and back up. Southside, man, and mailman in the building, bruh. Nino! Nino! What you hiding when you scream, bruh? Mailman. So, it is crazy. No matter what you can, you're doing, it can always lead to a moment where you could die. No matter what you're doing, you can lead up to a moment of death without even understanding it. That, that is crazy. We're going to watch this video and then we're going to come back and um, um, we're going to talk about this because um, this is this is crazy, man. Um what people are doing out here in the world and it's like a game to them let's check this out well, only on 13 it may be one of houston's most horrifying murders caught on camera and it happened in full view of neighbors in a subdivision near the gulf freeway in the pecan park neighborhood abc 13's brooke taylor is joining us now here in the studio yeah and brooke this really shocked a lot of us here in the newsroom it did, and sources close to this case tell me that this is some of the most horrifying footage they have seen in their careers. Police haven't said if the victim knew the killer, but they're hoping that a neighbor's video leads to a quick conviction and justice for his family. Only on 13, deeply disturbing and shocking video of a murder in broad daylight. On May 3rd, the victim, Stephen Anderson, is walking on Woodridge Square Drive to pick up his mail, sources tell us. He turns around at the sound of a screeching car speeding right into him. We're pausing the video right before he gets hit. The car reverses and hits him again, pushing him further into the street. Neighbors are on the phone, frantically calling 911. Another neighbor comes out with a pillow. And that's when the suspect, Karen Fisher, identified in court records as a man but also described as she by police returns with a knife in hand. The suspect yanks and flips Anderson over, straddles him and kisses him. We're not showing what happens next because it's too graphic, but that's when police say Fisher stabs him nine times. She casually walks off as if nothing happened and neighbors just watch. She then tries getting into another car while talking to witnesses. When that's unsuccessful, she leaps over the body and walks away. It's very disturbing, yeah, because, you know, I have kids here. So it, it, the kids could have been out here playing and, and imagine that. 20-year-old Karen Fisher is in jail tonight, charged with murdering the 64-year-old. Her bond is set at $2 million. Right there, like, it was, it was people, were, it, was, it was a busy intersection. It, it happened right, right under our, our noses, you know. Just truly so shocking. I spoke to neighbors that you saw in that video. They are still traumatized by that, as you can imagine. One woman even told me that she hasn't been to work and is trying to find a therapist. 
This is a heavy story right yes. here, and some, it's hard to get some context here as well. Brooke, we know the suspect's 20 years old. Have they been in trouble before? You know, the night that this happened, she was also charged with assaulting a nurse at Ben Taub Hospital. And we checked records and back in 2023, she was charged with evading arrest. And she's been on a five year community supervision from that. We also found a prostitution charge from 2021. That charge was ultimately dismissed. OK. All right. First off, let, let's correct this news reporter. Stop calling him a she. That is a he. That's a he. Let's go. Let, let's I'll rip. Let's get that straight. That is a he. Okay. Please stop calling a boy a girl. I hope that you enjoyed the podcast. I just asked one thing. Could you like, subscribe, and follow? Tell a friend. Leave a comment. I'm trying to grow this channel and I want to grow it with you. Now let's get back to this entertaining content. Y'all got to stop disrespecting real women. Real women are women, girls, ladies. Stop calling a natural born man a woman. Let's, let's get that off top. Now, secondly, my condolences go out to the, to the gentleman that was, um, that was, um, unalived and, um, and, um, life shorten um to this buffoonery of this fool my heart go out to them because that man didn't deserve to get unalive that way he may have many more years to live so my condolences goes out to his family and to him but this misgendering thing y'all y'all finna cut that shot i don't care what y'all say i don't care lgbt -E well if y'all don't agree with me on that's on y'all bro but it ain't finna, you ain't finna sit here and make me accept calling a man a woman and a woman a man. That ain't happening with male man. Uh, it ain't happening with me. So you let that one go. Now, I don't even know what the common sense on this one is. They was, it was so stupid. It was, and not on, not on the victim's part. I'm talking about on the, on the dude that that hit the guy. I, I'm. I, they just dumb. That, that's the only thing I can say on that one. They just dumb, man. Who runs somebody over just to run them over? Then bag up and run them over. Then you go get a knife, come kiss the person, and, and, and stab them nine times. You mentally retarded. No offense to nobody that has a mental illness or nothing. I'm not trying to. I'm just strictly talking about this person. That's it. I ain't trying to talk about nobody else. I'm talking about this person here. You evil. You 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 got Diddy blood in you. You got Diddy blood. That's what you got. That Diddy blood. Who would do that, bro? Whatever happens to this dude, whatever whatever happened to him physically, I have no remorse, no sorrowness, no pity for him, no nothing. Whatever happens to him, I ain't wishing nothing bad on nobody. I'm saying whatever happens, whatever. I ain't wishing good on him, though. I can tell you that. I have no pity for him. You took somebody's life for what reason? I don't even know. I don't even know what the common sense factor in this whole story would be for you. Besides, common sense, is, it, it would be you should have found common sense before you did that. That's about the only thing I can think of in this particular situation. Listen, y'all, be careful out there because there's some people out here I don't, they say mental illness and stuff, but that I don't know about all that mental illness stuff, man. You you know how to tell yourself stuff, not just what's wrong and right. You know how to tell yourself wrong and right. You done learn through experiences or something. I, I'm not finna accept just all everything is mental illness. It, it, it's not finna happen. I'm trying to understand, man. Is it something in this in the water with these people and they food in they baby bottle? Was they breastfeeding? Their mama had some cognac in there, and that cognac messed them up. They had a liquor nipple. Did they have a liquor nipple? I'm just, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to see, man. 
you know, I that's why, man, I be trying to be aware as much as I can because it is some fools out here. My kids be asking me, Dad, why you be so overwhelming and going to the stream thinking about things? Because of situations like this. That man was minding his business in the video I seen. And this dude decided to drive up and do that. No, no. I don't know what the development is in their brain, but it is not fully developed. I can tell you that. I can tell you that. It ain't nothing that can justify it. It ain't no... Uh, it ain't nothing that's gonna be um that 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 can make you feel sorry. And please don't put this man in no woman jail. Y'all better not put this man in no woman jail. Put this man in the jail cell with men. Don't y'all put Texas? Don't y'all put that man in no jail cell with no women? Y'all better put him in there with some men. That's what you put him in there. You put him with men, not no women, because he's a man. That kills innocent people. And ain't nobody got time for that, man. Ain't nobody got time for that, man. Y'all be safe out here. We all got to be safe, man. I love y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing. We're going to keep on working to build this channel. And till next time, we're going to keep on dropping these videos, baby. We out of here.